Okay, so uh, I will make introduction on image-based discount and barcode recognition system. And I'm from Kyocera Corporation, Japan. This is our outline. First of all, I will introduce the introduction about POS system. POS system is a private of point of sale system. It is widely used in the retail industry. Uh, it is a general term for systems required to digitalize and manage daily sales and sold products. The POS has several functions, and of this, the accounting function is the most basic. A small accounting is quite without waiting for customers. However, it is necessary to learn how to handle and operate each different cases, which increases the burden on staffs. If a discounted barcode sticker is affixed in, on the product, it is easy for the staff to register the discount information just by passing it through the scanner as a normal checkout. But if there is a discount sticker, such as 5% uh, of the staffs will need to find and enter a pre-registered discount button on the screen or press a handmade discount rate button to set the discount information to the system. Based on the various complexity of accounting operation, we aim to provide an automatic image-based scan system to facilitate the accounting process of each register. This system uses webcam or digital ca camera or smart device to capture an image or video streams. And it has function to recognize both discount stickers and barcodes. So I will introduce system overview next. The system character is uh, architecture is designed as shown uh, in this figure. The part inside the frame uh, is a proposed system. And the gray background part shows the post system. We first input the camera input. We then use classification network to detect the discount sticker region and barcode region and determine the classification category of them. Categories include various discount rates and barcodes. In the case of discount sticker, the classification category result of the discount rates such as 5% discount, 10% discount, 50% uh, discount is output. For barcodes, the barcode category result and the segmentation of the barcode region are output. If a barcode is detected, we then use its segmentation information to get a partial image containing the barcode, then decode it. We finally set results, combining the discount rate and the barcode in the process of linking the scan system and post system. Uh, about methodology, in this part, I will first introduce data augmentation. The existing augmentation is just for generating images that vary at different angles, horizontal or vertical flips, random cropping and aspect ratio and so on. However, this euro augment is not enough for, for processing the products of civil market because there's various status and aspects ratio uh, uh, because there are various status and on the discount stickers attached to the products and the printing and print buckles. Here, uh, I gave some uh, real example of discount stickers and buckles show in the figure. A is a clear discount stickers and buckles. B shows some distortion caused by the shape change of the product's package, especially in the case of bending of plastic package or bottles or cans. C shows some reflections caused by various lighting conditions. D shows motion blur caused by movement of the products. 
E shows some obstruction caused by multiple discount stickers or period of or by hand or something while holding the products. F shows some discount stickers attached or printed buckles on the complex backgrounds. G shows different perspective images caused by different lighting conditions. So we have to solve the problem uh, caused by uh, different conditions. Uh, then I will introduce the proposed data augmentation. The data augmentation is mainly composed of three steps. Uh, we first individually augment discard, discount stickers and buckles themselves by applying computing vision process to generate a variety of data that is close to the objective states of the reward. Uh, we then paste the generate discount sticker or barcodes on various backgrounds image, such as product package. We next augment the images containing the augmented discount sticker or barcodes to bring them closer to the actual shooting environment. So that's all about data augment. As for the model structure, uh, classific Classify network is a core recognition engine of the scan system. The design of the classif classifier is our second solution to effectively maintain the balance between processing time and cognitive performance. Here, as shown in figure, we adopt ULACT from the existing classifiers. It is a one-step deep learning network that performs independent instance of object detection and mask generation. In our classified design, we category all possible discount rates and bug holes. Experiments. The purpose of this experiment is to investigate effectiveness of our classification network and our data augmentation in the real world scenario. We set up two evaluation tasks. One task is to evaluate detection performance of discount stickers and barcodes, and the other is to evaluate classification performance. And the second stack task is to investigate the work efficiency improvement of our proposed system. As mentioned in the previous part, existing system for post augmentation has not yet been proposed. And there's no data set to evaluate the recognition of both discount sticker and barcodes. Accordingly, we built our own assessment data set including various challenges. In addition to common products, we also collect natural salt packed products that are prone to distortion and plus with new discount stickers on old ones to include easy to difficult evaluation images. In our, in our detection task, we use MAP evaluation metric which is a commonly used metric. MAP stands for mean average precision, a method of summarizing the precision record curve into a key single value that represents the average of all accuracy. On the other hand, we use accuracy evaluation metric for classification task. Accuracy is a ratio of, of the number of correct prediction to the total number of the prediction made to a data set. Results. Table one shows the detection and classification results of discount stickers and barcodes. We achieve good performance on them both. The average MAP for detection task is over 0.97 and the classification accuracy is over 0.98. There's some barcode fields that are occurred uh, on some 
a detection error that are uh, on the products that having serious distortion reflection or have multiple challenges which is possible to be dealt uh, with multiple phrase we then measure and compare the processing time of the current product scanning method and the proposed method current product scan measurement time includes uh, bring the product closer to the barcode scanner, barcode scan, and entering the discount rate information from the UI system. The process time of the proposed approach include, includes placing the product into the camera, performing discount rates and barcode recognition, and display the results. In this experiment, we only compare the processing time of discounted products. As shown in figure, the proposed method takes only 0.3 second, seconds compared to the average processing time of three seconds for one discount dis product in the current processing. The result shows a high processing efficiency of the proposed method. In this work, we propose a robust deep based discount stickers and barcodes recognition system. We decided the classifier the classific, the classify based on the ULACT object detection network to simultaneously detect and classify various discount rates and barcodes. To improve the training performance of deep learning model, we propose a novel data augmentation approach to generate various data that are close to the actual scene. The data augmentation consists of two. The first is to individually augment discount stickers and buckles with different status, such as distortion, blur, complex background, X. The second step is to place the generated discounts or buckles opposed to complex backgrounds. And finally, we augment images with various real lighting conditions. We make some experiments that the evaluation with our original data set. The experiment shows that our proposed approach uh, is effective and robust in discount stickers recognition and barcode de detection. This approach enjoys accuracy and speed. We believe that our approach is applicable and uh, contributable to the automation of post processing to improve productivity. Uh, my speed is all. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. I have finished my speech. Can you hear me? <laughs>